If you want to take your product descriptions from this to this, then keep watching because I'm going to show you how to break your product descriptions into tabs, saving you precious retail space, funneling your customers through faster, no coding required. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell. If you're a first time viewer, my name is Jeff. I worked at Shopify for three years and have reviewed hundreds of stores struggling with conversions. The purpose of this channel is to help you identify and fix mistakes that are costing you sales. There are three ways to divide your product description into different tabs. One is uh, learning how to code. Two is copying and pasting somebody else's code to the correct spot in your code. And the third is to use an app. As you may have noticed from other videos that we put out there, uh, Tabs by Station is by far one of my favorite apps out there. The two great things about it is that it is both simple and it is free. So there is a 100% free plan and you can 100% use it and it's very, very useful. Now the, the paid plans, they have what are called uh, shared tabs and I'll get into that later on in the video. So the, the paid plans can be useful to you, especially if you've got different types of, of products. Um, but uh, even, the, even the maximum plan is only $6 a month. So these guys are, are, are awesome. So first things first, you have to go to your app section and actually go in and install Tabs by Station. Uh, and then what you can do is you can start using it. So if you just download it, you don't even need to open it if you don't want to. You can just start making tabs right away. So uh, going back to our product page here, uh, I've taken out the, the different tabs. So currently we've got you know, the full page taken up by these different things. You know, there's description, features, and specifications. So how do I very easily and quickly uh, translate those into different tabs at the top here? It's actually not that bad. So I've gone to the, you know, the back end of our product here. And what you would like to do if you want to create a new tab is simply highlight whatever you want to be a new tab. Uh, go to formatting up here and by default it uses heading four. So if I set that as heading four, then now that is a new tab and it is titled as you type it in here. And we're gonna do the same thing for the specifications here, heading four, and I'm just gonna click save on that. So now if we go back to our, our page, you can see that these are nicely divided into those different tabs. So literally that is the, the bare bones of how to use that app. You can just go through any of your products and whatever you wanna make a new tab, just make it heading four and you are golden. Does that make sense? Let me know by leaving a thumbs up. Still have a nagging question? Post it in the comments so we can get back to you. So what else can this app do? So I've gone into the app tabs by station and we're presented with this screen here uh, where we can manage the specific tabs, which is what we were just doing uh, with heading four. And there's also these things called shared tabs. So we're going to take a look at the difference between the two. Um, the specific tabs here, I mean, we, we already just did that. It's heading four. If you want to change that to a different heading, you could do that too. Honestly, uh, most of this you're, you're not going to need to play with within the specific tabs. Well, let's go to shared tabs now. So shared tabs are something that you want to be consistent throughout your store, whether that's your entire store, specific collections or products, you know, tagged with something specific. Uh, it, uh, it allows you to have those same tabs across that entire grouping of products so that you don't have to do each one individually. So let's go ahead and click create shared tab. So I'm gonna actually title this as sizing chart Afterwards, it's gonna ask you what type of tab you want. So you know, it's gonna be page, legal, app integration, or you could just do straight up you know, coding. I'm gonna leave this as, as text. And what I've done is I found this sizing chart and I'm going to just copy this image, go back into the back end of my store, paste that in there and make sure it's visible. Yes, the label that I'm gonna give this is uh, sizing chart. Uh, this won't be visible, but it's useful for me. Um, I'm gonna choose for all languages, fine. Uh, position, so this is this is good to know. Uh, I'm going to set this as position very high because if there's, let's say, uh, let's say that there's already two tabs in there. If I put this in the second position, it's gonna put the first individual tab I put in, then it's gonna put this you know, repeated tab and then it's gonna put the other tab. So I wanna make sure that this is pretty high because I want this to be the last tab uh, with whatever products this is associated with. 
The next options I have here are either all products or some products. In this case, I want to click on some products. And what I can do, is, there's a ton of different options here. So the biggest, in my opinion, are collections and product tags. Uh, you can do types, vendors, uh, products as well. For now, let's just stick with collections. And I'm actually going to go into browse collections. And I'm going to go to click our dresses collection there because I want a sizing chart for that. Click on add. And now what I'm going to do is just click save. Now if I go into my, my dresses collection here, I can go into either of these dresses and you can see there's the original description and then there is this shared tab sizing chart that I can click on and boom, there is my sizing chart. And so if I add more products to this collection, they're always gonna have that sizing chart at the end of it and uh, it, it'll be automated, which is great. So one of the limitations of the free plan is that it only allows for one shared tab. If you're looking for more shared tabs, then the $3 a month is 10 shared tabs, and then $6 a month is 256 kilobytes of shared tab data, which should cover basically anything unless you're a massive, massive store. The last tab we have is settings here, and this allows you to do a number of different changes. We're gonna go through all of these. Some of these you don't really need to touch. So for example, in general here, I mean, you can try and change them if you want to, but honestly, it's just fine the way that it is. Uh, themes, this is if you want to like mass enable or disable this app for your theme. So I can go, you know, disable and you know, my current theme will no longer have tab spiceation enabled on it. If I go to content here, this is information that you can put at the bottom uh, just below your tabs, which will show up with whatever tab that you're, you're selected. So for example, for example, what I've typed in here, note that this entire store is for show, you will not receive any products, maybe I wanna put that in bold. And then I'm gonna click on save. Now if I go to one of my products and click on it here, you can see that we have this text here, you know, note this entire store, et cetera, et cetera. And even if I click on different tabs, it is still always going to be there. Same thing with our other product, you know, you're always going to have this just underneath it. So that is a useful feature that you can utilize. Next thing we're going to look into is styles, and this is very, very useful. So there are preset styles for your tabs that can look amazing. So, you know, you could turn them into, you know, pills, for example, uh, you know, you could, there's, there's all sorts of different options here. It's basically, um, you know, a preset for that. Uh, if you want to do it yourself in terms of customizing it even further, you can do anything, whether that's, you know, text, you can change the text color, uh, spacing borders, uh, background. So if you want to change what, you know, color this is or you know for example let's say you know I hover over it and uh, you know it turns red or, or something like that uh, you can you can do all of these different changes and uh, it's great because it allows you a lot of customization on that so there you go that's pretty much everything you need to know about task by station these guys are great it's, it's a completely free app and it's very easy to use I hope that helps catch you next time if you're a dropshipper with high traffic and no sales, we have a free five-step guide that will help you develop a profitable ad strategy, learn how to generate free traffic, and help you find winning products that people can't wait to buy. Transform your Shopify store into a professional, trustworthy store that customers can't wait to shop at. Check out the description box below for more information. If you liked this video, make sure to check out our related video here. If this video helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave us a comment and we will get back to you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as we have lots of great videos planned that you won't want to miss.